Hey, this is a video to talk about how you can upload a document into HubSpot and then how you can email it to somebody directly and get notified if they've opened it and what pages they've looked at and things like this. So the first uh, important thing is that you have your email linked. You can do that in integrations. Um, take a look in help to get that done, but you can have Gmail linked. You can have Outlook 365 or Office 365, whatever that email is linked. And I believe you can have some other emails linked too. I personally use Gmail. I use at herringcoach.com, at strongersalespeople.com. Those are actually Gmail through G Suite um, linked email addresses that I check in Google. You can see my inbox up here at the top. It's wayne.herring at herringcoach. And so today what I want to talk to you about is you can go into sales tools and you can upload a document. So go to sales tools, documents and i have some documents already in here that you can see uh, if you're on the free version i think you can have four uploads maybe five in my case i'm on the next version up so i have uh i don't think it's unlimited i think it's a thousand or something i'm not even close i'm good with that i don't want a thousand but even if you're on free you can put four or five in and you go to uh, upload new document and you can pick it from Dropbox or Google Drive if you already have those integrated, uh, box on and so forth. Or you can do local file and just take it from your own page. So I'm going to upload something that is, you know, completely unrelated to anything. But just to give you an idea, I did a training called Run from the Bull. I'll upload that. So we'll put Run from the Bull Notes in here and it's uploading. Uh, and I'm on a rather slow internet out here in the sticks, but there it is. Upload success, run from the bull, finished uploading. Now it's in there. Now I can use it. So if I'm in a deal and I want to email somebody in a deal, or if I'm on a contact and I want to email the contact directly from within HubSpot, I can go in, uh, I can pick the person. And in this case, I'll go ahead and send it to, to Nate and nate now here is his contact record uh nate's a client of mine right now so i'm going to send nate an email my email is all integrated so i can say run from the bull and i'll say nate here are and he actually knows what this is so it's good here are the notes on that run from the bull exercise enjoy and implement All right Wayne so I just go ahead and uh, I type out my little email I know what's going to Nate from breakaway farms and now here's where I'm going to go in I'm going to go to documents and uh, oop, let me show you one more thing I got to have it uh, where I want it and it's right there is where I'm going to want it um, positionally in the email so I go to documents and now I'm going to look for um, I'm in recent, so I want to go to all because I have not sent this. There's run from the bull notes right there. So I go over, I select it, and now it's in. Here's a hot link to run from the bull notes. What will happen is when they get this email and open it, if they click on run from the bull notes, it's going to open in the HubSpot reader. And two things. One is uh, if they forward it to somebody else, that person will have to enter their email address to get access to it, which will become a lead for me. And then the second thing is when they read run from the bull notes, I will know exactly what pages they read, how long they stayed on that page, et cetera. It'll give me a notification through HubSpot. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do this. I'll hit send. And after I hit send, it sends my emails in my case, cause Gmail is connected right through HubSpot. And now it becomes part of the Nate Thomas uh, record. Everything's in there. And they'll get it to look just like this. I'll click on it. See, so they'll, they'll click on it. And it comes through the app HubSpot documents. It opens up. It's only one sheet in this case. And you can also see I'm getting notified that Wayne Herring has opened this right here because I'm tracked in their system. And that's what will happen for you with your clients. So you'll know when they opened it. So you could call them right away if you want when they're opening it. And uh, they're able to see it's not the greatest document, right? Because it's handwritten and I put it in there. But there you go. It can be any kind of PDF. It can be a multi-page brochure. It can be a case study, multi-page, et cetera. And then you'll know for how long people looked at it. Hope that helps. Thanks.